Hello, hello. <laughs> What's going on, y'all? Welcome to the VOD review. Today we have a, I'm gonna say silver. I'm not exactly sure his rank. I believe silver, Hammond, maybe bronze, maybe gold. Silver, just be safe. Uh, just looking at Hammond VOD. Uh, before I start the review, I'm gonna say if anybody wants me to review their gameplay, let me know in the comments down below, or go to the description, join my Discord, and message me there. Uh, I review m most of the VODs that come in. It's just a lot of time I get backed up, and then a new patch comes out, and then like the VOD becomes invalid. So if you send me a VOD, make sure to like remind me, be annoying, like keep telling me, yo, I want my VOD reviewed, I want my VOD reviewed, and I'll, I'll get to it. Uh, with all that being said, let's just jump into it. First off, I really like what you're doing here, going to their spawn and scouting their comp. Even I don't do this enough, uh, but this is really good, and I'm, I'm really happy to see this from a silver player. Uh, as long as you don't just like go and slam into their spawn or let them know you're here, absolutely okay with it. Just find out what they're running. Uh, when I'm playing Hammond, I like to look at the CC on their comp. Uh, all they really have is McCree and Ana, and in this rank, you can kind of expect their McCree and Ana to use their sleep and stun. Very, like, willy-nilly and not very, like, they won't hold on to it for you a lot of the time. So feel free to dive them a lot. If you see somebody separated, you win almost any 1v1 against their comp. Um, let's see. Now this, I'm not a huge fan of. Why don't I like what you're doing here? So you're, you're going in, you're engaging, you're taking attention. But, like, your team's all the way over here. You can see your team is all the way back on point, And you're going in, like, kind of 1v3. It's not really... This disruption you're doing right now is useless. All it does is it gets rid of your cooldowns. Gets rid of your, um... Like, your, your advantage, your... Element of surprise, basically. So, if you were to wait until, uh... The enemy team was engaged with yours to try to do something like this, that would be much better. But you go into early here and use your cooldowns. You don't get slept, thankfully, but... And you don't give a bolt charge either because your adaptive shields don't really give bolt charge. But it was just a, a useless engagement. Okay. So because you uh, you went in earlier and wasted your shields, you don't have them now. So by the time you go into the enemy team next, you're kind of fucked. You're missing 300, 400 HP that you should have had with your adaptive shields. Um, additionally, engaging this deep, just like I said, your team's not able to capitalize off of it really. Your junk rat's really far. Your soldier's really far from where you're trying to engage. So they're... Their accuracy is not really going to be high from this distance. Try to wait till the enemy team gets closer. It might seem weird me telling uh, you, oh, don't, like... A lot of people will say, don't give up space, don't give up space as a tank. Sometimes you have to give up space. If your team is holding back here, you have to give up space. You're not going to 1v6 the enemy. Um, so people saying, oh, don't give up space, that's kind of a really bad, overarching uh, piece of advice because it doesn't fit every situation. Additionally, another issue with your Hammond gameplay is you're not pile driving. Pile drive is a hundred fucking damage, bro. A hundred damage for an ability you don't need to aim. That is half their HP bar just fucking gone. Like, hitting a pile drive is easier than hitting a McCree shot, and it does more damage, and it knocks them up, and leaves them easy for you to track. You need to be pile driving on your engages. Um, additionally, in this low rank, a lot of McCrees, a lot of Anas, the people you're reversing, they might waste their CC abilities trying to hit you while you're slamming to like stop your slam you might juke them you might take their stun away slam them and they're a free kill um so try your best to engage with slam not rolling directly into the enemy team unless you have something lined up like uh like you're in a boop spot and you're trying to boot them off the map try to engage with pile drives 100 percent of the time not okay maybe not 100 percent of the time most of the time go for engages with pile driver so much so much better than just swinging in because if you just swing into the enemy you don't really have much offensive potential after that. And it's not like you, uh, I'm not going to expect you to know tech to, uh, like, pile drive without swinging. So just try to swing in with a, with a, with a pile drive. So, like, right here. Diving Winston's not the best thing, but because he separated so much and he was so far, like, by himself, separated from his team, and your, your team is able to shoot him, that's a fine engage. You hear the warrior fade behind you, unless you don't have, unless you're playing without sound. You hear the two squishies, the two healers right behind you. You should be pushing them with your team. You're good, McCree's 1 HP, awesome. Good shields. I would stay engaged there. Like you just killed the Winston, you just killed the McCree. The enemy doesn't have much damage coming back, I mean, a Genji, sure. And you see your team is engaging below. If you know that you have, like, kind of a 5v4 fight right now, you should try to take it. You should try to be engaged. You still have a lot of HP. Um, and additionally, you could have came from behind the enemy, cut off their escape, and, um, you know, kind of like pincered the enemy. 
Also, I like what you did right there. Let's just go back and look at it real quick. So, this is a, a really strong combo is you swing at them, deal 50 damage with the swing, and then you slam for the 100. That's 150 damage right there. Swing, 50, slam, 100. That leaves 50 HP for you to shoot and then melee. So if they're not getting any healing, that is just a, a godly combo. Um, however, in this situation, you need to shoot them at all because they're already low enough. Uh, that's great. Uh, I don't know what people call that. I remember watching one needle guy. He called it like poop and scoop and poop or some shit like that. I just say swing and slam. Like if you swing into somebody and slam them, that's most of their HP gone. If you see that uh, opportunity line up like that a lot, go right for it. Also, you can be way more lenient with your right click. Um, your grapple cooldown. It's like five second cooldown. It's really short. You can use it to uh, kind of just escape situations. When, uh, so let me just give you a quick example. Like right here, you don't really want to be engaged right now. I like, and you have cooldown coming up real quick. You can just grapple to like right here. You see my cursing, you grapple right here, go around the corner, get your heals and then go back in. It's, it's a really like low cooldown. Feel free to just not waste it, but use it a lot. Good slam. Very happy with that. Try to get out, try to get out. Good. Perfect. Now, your team's using two offensive um, ults, the Rip Tire and the, the Visor. If you see two of your DPS using ults, fucking get in there. Uh, the reason for that, even if it might not seem like the best situation, because you go in, you take away, you take so much attention from the enemy, they might die to the Visor, they might die to the Tire, because they're putting attention on you and not trying to like juke the Tire or um, stay behind walls for the, uh, for the Visor. Alright, right here, going in so early. Oh, bad, bad, bad. We're gonna, this is a loaded play right here so first off before you even use the ultimate why was this bad uh you know the enemy team's gonna be pushing top right it looks like because they have you know the rhine and their whole team's kind of following so it looks like they're pushing top right um your team's all over here they're all really far from where you're trying to engage um you're kind of slamming into 1v6 your team can't follow up on your slam on your engagement here um so these mines the slam's kind of useless Additionally, when you're going for one of these uh, mine plays, try to use your mines before you slam, and here's why. You use the mines midair, and then you slam. The mines are still arming, so like when you press Q, the mines aren't automatically active. They take like a second or two to, uh, what's it called? They take like a second or two to arm. Um, so that by the time you slam, the enemy goes up in the air and comes back down, the mines might be armed and they might kill something. So you want to pop your mines before you slam. Um, when I started playing Hammond, I had the same issue. I was like, huh, I get a really fat slam here, and then I can pop the mines after and be really good. No, 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 no. Try to get the Q down before user slam. I'm not going to talk about using your ult near walls. Like, right now, I'm going to, really quick, try not to use your ult near too many walls, because if you do, the, the mines will get stuck up here, and they'll be useless. So try to use it more in an open, open area. Like, if you did it right here, that'd kind of be acceptable. But doing it right next to a wall, half the mines are going to be stuck on the wall. Anyway. <clears throat> you can kind of push that Ryan. You can maybe boot him off the map. At least he has some ult charge. Good. I'm liking this. Perfect. I just think you could spend a little more time shooting there, but that's no big deal. This bad, 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 bad. Why is this bad? Uh, you're on low ground. You don't have your adaptive shields, and you don't have... Your, your grapple of it? You fucked up and you grappled really early. Where did you grapple? Hold on. Let me find it. You grappled right when McCree had stun. That's that's pretty bad. That's kind of unfortunate timing. You, you should definitely die here. Your team luckily gets you out. But that was that was bad. You have 89 HP, bro. I would not recommend going in. No, 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 no. You have 89 HP and you just go right back into the McCree's LOS. Uh, what would I do differently here? Let's say I made the mistake of going into the McCree and taking 90% 90, 90 of my HP. Okay, luckily if I got out, and I know both my heals are right here, I'm just going to sit right here. Out of LOS of all the enemies except for, you know, Reaper and Ryan who are kind of not really, you know, the most relevant. I would sit back here and get healed. Sit back here, take my time and get healed. There's no reason to rush, no reason to panic and back into the enemy's uh, LOS. You know what I mean?
if you don't have a depth okay so so far i got two two big actually no off of these this quick 10 minute vod review i have three big pieces of advice already it's uh pile drive into your engagements more don't go into depth shields and then your ultimate just in general is i mean just the, the big combo piece can you go in here contest no so that slam not really worth it you don't really get much old charge and you're not going to get test no point going in here additionally you're half hp uh so collect health packs before you go in no no don't do it don't do it don't do it no 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 it's not worth it no i know they're just silvers or whatever but they're gonna find you no 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 you take all your hp and feed all that old charge like i said if you're gonna engage you're gonna do something try best to slam it oh big purple you go in here you have visor you get aggressive here big slam nice pop your shields good you have a big number advantage, get aggressive as possible. You have a 6v4. You have, keep getting in there, keep getting in there. Awesome. Trying to slam on Zarya with bubble. No big deal. Okay, you still have shields here, you're, you're fine. You're okay to stay engaged if you want. McCree has no flash, and you almost have a pile drive available. You could go back in if you really want to. Now I would probably get out. You're missing half HP, you don't have shields available. You have a 6v3, no reason to play super, super, like, risky. Alright, you see your soldier engaged, so you kind of try to, you know, get a, get some attention off him. I like that a lot. Very good, very good. You know you're not going to get punished for trying to swing in there, so it's very good for you to do that. And just take some of the, uh, some of the pressure off your soldier. Happy with that play? They're very happy. Um, let's see. Oh, right, your tracking doesn't look bad. Push that Moira! No, 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 no! If you see a Moira waste fade, you gotta push her. You gotta capitalize on her not having that ability. Like, fade is a six second cooldown, is so valuable. Um, I was slamming it without adapter shields. This is bad, this is bad. Hold on. Okay, so if Moira has no fade, you push her. If McCree has no uh, no flash, you push him. If Ana has no sleep or nade, you push her. Uh, you see them use those abilities; those become your prime fucking targets. Anyway, you went in there without adaptive shields. I think that's one of your big, big issues. You don't really want to go in without adaptive shields, especially because you're slamming into a, a cluster of enemies. You're you're normally not like slamming on one or two people. You're going in on three or four people. Those adaptive shields become incredibly valuable. And here you can test too early. Let me explain this real quick. Um, look at the top of the screen. You see how, look at my cursor. You see how there's that much space in between where the point is and where the, the goal is? You don't have to contest yet. You can wait that much distance until contesting. Because it'll still be a one fight game. Um, but if you wait, you'll have more of your team available to capitalize on the attention you're taking. But because you go in so early, no one can capitalize. Your Mercy's here, doing nothing. Your Soldier's here, shooting really far away, probably not having very high accuracy. But if you waited maybe 5-10 seconds, your Slam could be capitalized on, all the attention taken could be capitalized on, etc. This is fine. You hear him waste Flash, you hear her waste Nade. Um, Alright, you're spinning to win, but I would start going for a kill here, yeah. Aw, oh, your team's gonna see 9, I can see it. No. Oh, you hate to see it. Alright. Yeah, your big issue there was going in way too early. You had a ton of point available to, like, you know, like, give up. But you went in super early and your team couldn't capitalize. Because you waited way ahead of them. If you wait the four or five seconds that they had in between where the point was and the goal, uh, your team would have been able to follow up with you. This is fine. You're close to ultimate as well. So I wouldn't really try to go for any crazy engages until I have my ultimate. Just go for random poke damage. That was rough. Um, like I said, try to try to go for poke damage until you have your ultimate. Um, if you're at 80, 85, 90% of your ultimate, shoot tanks. Shoot tanks are easy to hit, uh, so they'll get, they'll get moral charge because I have more HP. Um, and then once you have your ult available, you can get a huge pop off right there. 
but instead you uh, you go on early focus squishies that you're not going to kill, and you don't really get any value. All right, it's been 15 minutes, it's been a full round, and I think there's plenty of advice I could give. So, your big pieces of, or your, your big issues is you go in without your cooldowns available. So, like, you'll go in and you won't have enough speed for fireball, um, and your grapple will just be, like, wasted, and you'll be in the middle of the enemy team, and you won't have shields, because you wasted them earlier, it's just, do not go in if you don't have adapter shields. Your, your kind of gameplay loop is swing, slam in, shoot some stuff, deal some damage, swing out, get healed, get your cooldown back, and then repeat. Rinse and repeat that. Uh, just make sure when you're going in, your team is nearby, and they're able to capitalize on the uh, the slam and all the space you're creating. Uh, number two issue, I would say, would be your ultimates. I really, I think you only had one or two there. Um, first one was really bad, because it was a 1v6, and you slammed. And then ulted so you want to switch it you want to ult mid-air and then slam down so the enemy is kind of like like whirlpooled into your ultimate by your pile driver does that make sense i think that makes sense and then uh i mean number three issue i think it's just kind of ties into number one it's just going in 1v6 you have to make sure your team is in an area that you're that you're that they're able to capitalize on your slam so for example if you have teammates playing up here maybe a soldier diva mercy whatever and you're slamming all the way down here they can't follow up on that however if uh if your enemy if your team's playing up here and the enemy's pushing mid like down this street you slam here your team can capitalize so make sure where you're engaging your team is able to uh what's it called make sure your team is able to, to actually follow up pay attention where your team's located uh what was i impressed with your tracking honestly looked pretty good for a silver bronze gold hammond your tracking looked fine um, I would kind of say try to shoot more than you're doing. Like, I feel like you're going for a lot of slams. Or, not a lot of slams, a lot of swinging in. I would say go for more shooting. Like, slam in, shoot, and that'll deal a ton of damage. Uh, try to get a melee in before you, like, escape, if that makes sense. So slam, and melee, and then run away. Um, I think that's it for the VOD review. I hope this helped. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments or on Discord. Uh, you have me out on Discord already. If anyone else have any, has any questions, let me know. Uh, leave in the comments if you want your VOD reviewed. Hit me up on Discord. It'll be in the description. Uh, with all that being said, I'll see y'all later. Peace.